Hi, uh, this is the next video explaining how to implement the mess operation with uh, lists uh, using uh, countdown timer. So uh, in the first video uh, I've showed how to uh, do the mess uh, delete uh, operation with the uh, list items. Here I will show uh, how to extend this operation, not to just the list items, but the uh, child collections. So. Uh, let me explain a bit. Uh, so I have the orders and usually uh, in the order there's an order name, some information about the order, but uh, we store uh, informa detailed information about items in the order in the separate collection. So I have created a separate collection uh, called order items where I have the item name and the link to the order. It's uh, one to many links, so one order can have many items, but one item can belong only to one order. So, uh, and usually when you want to delay, delete some order, you want to delete items as well, because otherwise they're going to be orphaned and uh, uh, it will be difficult to find them in the database. So let's start first. Uh, let's create the list of uh, the list of orders and order items. So I already have the list from the previous video. Uh, this is a list of orders and um, uh, I will uh, I will delete this abandoned tag, and in order to uh, display the order items, I will add uh, a list inside the, the list. So uh, let's add a text here, and we convert it to a list, and it's gonna be a list of order items uh, of current order. So uh, a little bit of uh, design. So here we have the uh, order name and uh, all the order items which belong to this uh, list, uh, to this order. Okay, uh, so uh, usually uh, we want to allow administration, uh, the admins, to delete not all the orders but to try to select the orders which need to be deleted. So we already have the field called abandoned. Uh, let's rename it not to abandon, but to, to be processed. And uh, let's add the toggle component, which will set this field to true. Uh, here is it, add toggle. And this will toggle the current order uh, to be processed property, a value to true. So, uh, and we will implement the logic then when the uh, to be processed is true, we need to do something with the order. And then button process. Uh, the button le uh, leads to another screen, which is a mass delete execution screen. So uh, we will add a list. Here we'll just copy the current one. So we have the list. We don't need this uh, uh, checkbox here. So we will modify the list a bit. It will be a list of orders, not all orders, but a list of additional filter where the to be processed is true. And we uh, will add the countdown timer. How this will work? Uh, we will add actually two countdown timers. The uh, countdown timers. Uh, where is it? Uh, why? So the first one will be responsible for the order itself, and the other one will be responsible for deleting uh, the uh, individual order items. So uh, now it's too big. This one is for order items. Uh, the countdown will start from, for example, four seconds. Uh, we don't need uh, we don't need minutes. We just need the seconds. Uh, and yeah, disappeared because most probably we need to expand the list a little bit. Yeah. 
yes now it belongs to each order item and uh, when the countdown ends we will trigger an action of deleting the current order item so you see that we have a list of here we have a list of order items and uh, the countdown uh, this countdown is responsible for deleting the order item and then after deleting all order items we would like to delete the order itself so let's copy the timer and put it to order so you see that uh, now it's replicated in the list uh, we need to increase the number of seconds to allow order items to be processed so let's put eight seconds here and uh, yes again uh, it's the timer uh, everything is fine here and the action is gonna be uh, delete current order and uh, that's it so let's have a look how it works So, okay, uh, we have this. Uh, ah, yeah, I forgot to put some text here. Uh, it will be a text uh, of uh, current order item item name, and the same here. Item name. Okay. So yes, we have several orders, you see, for Paris, for London, uh, for Rome, uh, for... Okay, so let's uh, select a couple of orders, Rome and Toronto, and say process. Okay, you see, the countdown starts. Items has been deleted, orders has been deleted. And if we return back, we don't see any orders for Rome or Toronto. So here it how it works. I hope uh, it was useful. Thank you.